Welcome to Ascending Souls Journey. This is Lori and your psychic here to give you the messages for Thursday, May 3rd. Uh, this is for love, career, finance. It is a general reading, so take from the reading what actually applies to your life. And, and, and don't try to fit the reading around your life. Just pull what is actually applicable for you. We're going to... Let me pull these other two cards. Oh, yes. Psychic Connections today, and I have backed it to 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time rather than 3.30. So um, those of you who are going to participate in today's Psychic Connection, it is at 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time USA. So I will see you there. I look forward to it. It's going to be really cool today. So, okay, what we have for you... The Three of Swords followed by the Chariot. And for Career and Finance, we have the Queen of Cups and the World card. And if you don't recall, I will give you the Romance Angel message at the end of the reading. So what they're showing me right off the bat, sorry, I itch when I connect. <laughs> so um, is some of you have gone through... When it pertains to romantic love, you have gone through um, an ending. They're showing me that you were with somebody where there was a lot of struggle, a lot of uh, arguing, a lot of battling between the two of you. There may have been some infidelity, but what they're showing me is that you, and I'm gonna view you as the, the one viewing this reading, ended the relationship. And the universe is saying, yes, it was a repetitive pattern. So the two of you were coming back together and then parting ways and coming back together and parting ways. And the universe is saying, yes, that was the right thing to do. They want you to end that. Now, what's going to take place by you ending this relationship is you're actually going to close a chapter in your life. You're going to get that. It may take a little bit of time. But you will, you will overcome this and you're going to close a chapter of your life and start a brand new chapter. And this brand new chapter is going to open you up emotionally. Like when you go through this healing pattern, so you have a little bit of time, you're going to be healing. And when you come out of it, you're going to be ready to start this brand new chapter. You're going to be ready for love in a big bad way, in a really positive direction. Now for another group of you, what they're showing me is you were at a situation in a work environment where you ended this, uh, you severed ties with this company. Now I don't know if they terminated you or you quit. They aren't showing me that, but the separation is there and it was not on good terms. It was not on good terms. There was a lot of um, ill words were said back and forth. So there may have been a lot of uh, strife involved in this situation. You have a new opportunity going to come to you. It's really important that you do move forward. Don't just sit there and absorb the negative aspects of this other company that you were involved with because they are a very dysfunctional environment. You want to leave the negative in that dysfunctional environment. Do not bring it with you because as you move forward, and the universe is going to help you move forward, you are going to have a new offer. Now this new opportunity coming to you is very, very emotionally satisfying. Like you're gonna be really happy. It's night and day, negative. And this place is very positive. The people there actually do enjoy what they do. They do enjoy going to work. Um, and I don't mean that people, you know, don't want time off, of course, but when we are happy to get up and go to work, that's a good environment for us, for whatever it is that suits us. And that's what they're saying. What is coming to you is going to be very, very happy. You're going to be fulfilled. You're going to be joyful. So this ending, 
and for every ending there's a new beginning this ending actually is very very positive for some of you in this situation in this group some of you it will be at a distance you will need to travel to go to work now you may have to move it may be too much of a commute each day so you'll want to move closer to where the job is making your commute a little bit uh, easier now for another group of you you're in a you're actually in a relationship where you or your partner there one of the two of you maybe both of you actually have been involved with somebody else there's a third party maybe a fourth party involved in your love life and you're at a point right now where you you're you're no longer happy you, you don't like it it doesn't feel right it doesn't feel good what i'm actually seeing is like maybe the the two of you branched out because you weren't um you weren't sexually satisfied with each other. It's like you've been together for a while, you were a little bit bored. You want out of this, you don't wanna participate in this, and you know what? The universe is telling me that your partner is not very happy doing this type of a thing. There is an, a chance that the two of you can salvage your relationship, but, um, but you're gonna to have to really open up to your partner and express to them that you're, you, you don't wanna do this, this isn't, this isn't what you want. For some of you, you will end your relationship because of this, and for others, you will be able to fix it. It's gonna depend on your situation, your circumstances. Now, for another group of you, you may be dealing with a family member that is ill, and it could have to do with their heart. We do have the three of swords, so that could indicate heart uh, heart attack, heart problems. Um, but what they're really showing me is there is ill health involved with your relative. It looks like it is a female, very feminine energy that is ill. And you need to actually travel to go see them um, to help them recover over this. They, they're going to be okay, but they need assistance. They actually need help. And the universe is going to uh, work with you to get the money to make arrangements for you to travel to go see it could be a mom it could be a grandmother and aunt it's somebody very close to you that you love very very much um they are going to help you so stay positive and really look at how you can do this can you do some of your work online can you uh telecommute can you, you know, just look at everything, weigh out all your options, think of every avenue, ask the divine to help because they are going to help you in this situation. Yeah, so let's take a look at your romance angel card for the day. Oh yes, while I'm pulling this card, um, I just wanna remind you guys, I did discount my readings uh, for the week. So if you've been waiting for my special, I didn't have time to put one together, but I do have one for next month, but I have reduced the, the reading prices. So check that out. It's only gonna be through the end of the week. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So going back to the first scenario when I was talking about walking away from a situation where you were back and forth, back and forth, that really is unrequited love. That is not love in the full capacity enough to make a, a relationship actually be a relationship. It was simply a repetitive pattern in a negative cycle that ended. So this is actually a very good thing and uh, for those of you where you're dealing with a partner with a, you know, a third or fourth party, you may want to take a look at that and see if you and your partner are actually on the same page. So I do hope you have a wonderful day. Psychic Connections at 4 p.m. today. I look forward to seeing you there. Much love.